Projects are a way to analyze a collection of related files in Intide 7. I have a new project here. Clean profile from my computer. I can transcribe directly. I can paste text as well, like reviews, email. But this time, let me put some files from my library. Pick a few files. Add them to the project. So my files are here and now I want to kick off my analysis. I go to the start analysis home, which is where you can start the workflow for any type of analysis within a project. So we have the single analysis where you can start to extract themes, quotes, you can ask a single question or multiple questions using the research matrix is what that looks like. You can also start to generate things like reports and visual maps, like journey maps, mind maps, empathy maps. The other way you could choose to analyze your data is using what we call project kits. So with project kits, you have functional templates you can use to analyze data for a specific use case. So we have marketing kits, we have product kits, research operations, and people and culture. So it really depends on what you're trying to do. Let's start with a few of the capabilities under the single analysis flow. I want to pull out some themes. And so I click on themes and then I also have templates here that I can use to pull out specific insights. So you think about them like tags that I can use to mine the data to pull out relevant insights. And so here by default, you have pain points, desires, behaviors, compliments, motivations, but you could add things like risks, challenges, you know, opportunities to the data. And then you have some goals here in terms of what you're trying to achieve on the project. Uh, and then you can click on extract once you're ready. Within a few seconds, I'll get my insights back clustered as a set of themes that I can start to visualize. My dashboard is back. And now I have themes here for the data set that I have uploaded. So I can click into each theme and see all the insights embedded in each one. I can also view the evidence so I can see where exactly each quotes or highlights is coming from in the transcript or document or file. And these are all the other themes here. Um, I can choose to export this CSV PDF. I can choose to publish this as well. If I wanted to turn it into a report, I can select which of the group of insights or themes I want to make it into a report. I can customize the report outline, but let's just use the default. And once I hit publish report, it will draft the report for me based on the insights that have been mined from the data. So my report is back, it gives me summary, introduction, findings. We present, you know, a number of findings, about five in this case, with insights and corresponding quotes backing up the finding. And you also get a slide for recommendations and conclusions. Now let's try to generate another type of board. Um, this one is called quotes and with quotes, you can pull out relevant quotes from the data based on topics or keywords. Here I would say pain points. I want to see brand perception. I want to see uh, challenges mentioned. Um, and I, I can just run that analysis and it's going to come through the data and pull out all the relevant portions of the data that describe this topic or the keyword. So you see here, brand perception found six quotes. Here are the quotes, gathering insights on corporate identity for marketing strategy. This is what was said. I can copy this if I want it. And I can also link to the exact portion of the file where that quote was pulled out from. I can also visualize all the other quotes. See quote seven quotes on challenges mentioned and nine quotes on pain points. Let's try to ask Sev questions about the data. So with Ask Sev, you can type in any question you have and it will come through in the entire data set or collection of files you have and it will answer any question. So this is good for things like summarization or asking specific open-ended questions. What were the big ideas from these conversations? You see here, I have my answer back. 
um, ease of use, real-time insights, customer support, need for customization. And it gives me the big ideas mentioned in the files that I have here in my project. Now let's try to answer multiple questions using the matrix. So with the matrix, you're able to ask multiple questions in one go, and it will help you visualize the question and answer in a grid view. And so I'm just going to try some of the questions here. We also have a bunch of templates you can use. And once I say ask questions, it's going to load those files into a matrix grid and start to answer those questions across all those files and present aggregated insights across all those files. So this is great for asking or answering specific questions across a set of files. And so the matrix supports 20, 50, 100 files to run analysis across all those files, pull out the nuggets and then summarize. And so you can see here, it's presenting me the summary of all the answers under the first column, what are the key insights in this file? You can see here, pulled out all the nuggets across the five files I have. So if you had 20 transcripts, it will run it the same way and then summarize the nuggets at the top. And then I can easily navigate all the columns here and visualize all the patterns it has extracted from the data. I can easily add more questions here and it will just keep loading the columns with answers. I can publish the answers here to a report as well, very similar to what I could do with the themes that I generated earlier. And once I put the title, it will turn all the answers here into a report. 